What's up guys, how you doing? If you haven't been to my channel before, my name is Philip Scrub, I'd really love it if you subscribed. Today we're doing a really quick film about how to photograph beer bottles and make them look just delicious. It's actually partly a challenge by Peter Lindgren, he did a film about a week ago with his friend Jonas. Um, and the challenge is I think hashtag no dead beer. It sounded like no dead bear, which would, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you how to photograph a beer or how I do it. I do a lot of drink photography, product photography, and um, I really do like doing it, though it's quite um, ah, delicate work, um, especially drinks, um, which I will be doing a lot more of so you guys can see how I do it um, and what I need to do it, because that's really important as well. Now, today's film is partly sponsored by um, Alebrowar, which is an awesome, awesome Polish brewery. Um, I got their beers from craftclub.pl. If you do want to buy some of their beers, they send it to you in a big box like this. So let's hope nothing is broken inside. That's nice. That is nice. That is what we're going to do today. And um, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump over from this table. And by the way... <laughs> All of these um, labels, they are absolutely awesome. And the thing with these labels is you don't have to worry if you spray them because they are not paper. So if you have paper labels, you gotta make sure you spray them. So if you spray water on them, put ice on them, it won't deteriorate. Um, we're gonna jump over to the table, the B-roll table, and uh, I'm gonna show you what you need to do this and how simple it is to do. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the Sony a7 III with 85 millimeter 1.8. Did a film about that right there. Um, and we're gonna click it onto our tripod, get it nice and tight. Now, we have our beer bottle. Um, like you saw in Pete's film, you do have to remove the label at the back of the beer. That is about how much I'm removing. So right there, this part and this part. And so the light will shine through really nicely on this beer. So I managed to get most of the glue off. Um, best thing to do is get a bit of label and just stick it constantly to the glue until you get most off and then clean it off with a window cleaner. Um, as you can see, the bottle is pristine right now. That's why I'm wearing my gloves, not to get any um, fingerprints on it. And um, like I said, as it's a plastic um, label, I don't have to worry about it getting wet, but with a paper label, you've got to make sure that you definitely use um, some kind of varnish on it so that the label does not get destroyed. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna spray it um, with this stuff. Then we're gonna get the diaper wet, which we can actually do right now. It's really simple. You're gonna get yourself some water and you're gonna just... wet it. Right, so this stuff does get pretty dirty, so protect your walls, protect whatever you're spraying, do it outside. It's raining. Um, and just really, really, really simple. There we go. Keep it a nice distance. Um, and I think that looks perfect. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just slice them open and take out the ice, can you actually, can you see that? That is like just pure ice in there. It looks absolutely stunning. We're gonna put some on the bottle around the piece of glass. Make sure you clean your police, your police, your police, your, your piece of glass, huh? Make sure you clean it before you put anything down because you do not want to spend hours in Photoshop with this. It really makes the difference. And like um, Jonas said in Pete's film, you just gotta be careful of the, um, little pieces of hair, which you might want to get rid of because they can get pretty annoying. So the bottle, you know, I mean, that is already looking pretty damn ice cold. So we're gonna put that right here. I'm gonna finish icing it up. Um, I'm gonna get my glycerine and just give it, you know, a couple of um, sprays in a few different areas so it looks like it's really, really, you know, got a lot of condensation and it's really cold. Just out of the fridge. Can you guys see me? No. Anyway, let's do this. Right, this looks absolutely awesome. Um, the condensation looks fantastic. I do want to get some, just a little bit of ice around here, just so it looks like it's been taken out of the freezer and just dropped. Uh, make sure you get like ice around the bottle because it would be a little bit unrealistic if you um, 
just have, you know, ice in front of the bottle. Um, these diapers, <laughs> it's insane, it really is. Um, just a little bit more, maybe just on the, just, you don't want to go overboard with this stuff. And also make it look like, you know, there's a bit more ice on one side than there is the other. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that absolutely, it looks absolutely awesome. Right, so at the moment, if you look at my scene, I have the bottle all set up. Um, I have a diffuser and my light just behind here with a, um, <laughs> the actual diffuser bag as a black wrap, just stopping it going on the wall out of there, just not spilling on the background. And um, the image looks pretty clean. Make sure that you're leveled out, everything is nice and clean before you start. And um, yeah, we're gonna do the um, left side, the right side, um, we're gonna do the top down, we're gonna do the label, and then we're gonna do the background, then we're gonna quickly jump into Photoshop and Lightroom and show you how it's done at the moment. I am on 1 13th of a second, ISO 100, 2.8 and um, daylight. So what I'm gonna do now is just, um, and I'm on manual focus by the way, the label right at the front, it is crisp clean. So let's do this. So now we're gonna do the top of the cap. Um, I've got it really low, I think it's on 9% and just, That's it, and I'm gonna put it up just a little bit more, and we're gonna get that label in right there. Yeah, that looks nice and pumpy. Boom, okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna light the background, and as this is a HSI light, um, we're gonna drop the saturation all the way up to 100%. And as this beer is, um, kind of reddish, um, we're gonna go into clean blue. Um, so that should be around 180, 200-ish. Um, so I think that will be really nice as the background color. Right, what I've done now is set the time to 10 seconds. I'm gonna light up the wall. There we go. And I'm guessing that looks dope. And that should look awesome. Right, now that we've done all of those shots, um, I had to do the light shining through the bottle a few times, just because um, getting my hand at the right angle for it to be lit at the top and at the bottom is quite difficult, but I managed to do it and it looks awesome. Let's jump into Photoshop. I'll show you how to connect these together, you know, just. Right, so now that we had fun over there, we're gonna have fun on the computer and it's really simple. I'm in Lightroom, I've got six images, the left rim, right rim, the cap, the label, the actual beer and um, the background. So um, once you've kind of edited them, done what you needed to do with them, right click, edit in and open as layers in Photoshop and it will open all those photos as separate layers in um, Photoshop and it's that simple. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I've named all the actual layers so I know what I'm working on. Um, the best thing to do is to unselect all of them except for your background, which looks really crisp. Turn on the right rim light. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click right here and create a um, layer mask. Once that's done, Command I to invert it. And um, go to your brush tool and make sure that your brush tool is on white so that when you're painting, um, it will come out like this. Now if we press lighten, all it's gonna do is lighten the area that you are actually painting. So I'm just gonna go back on that and I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller um, and I'm gonna zoom in and I think my opacity at the moment, I'm just gonna go up to 100 and 100 so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna go down to lighten and I will just start painting in this area right here. Nice and slowly. There we go, let's make the brush a tiny bit bigger. Just go down nicely. And that would be more or less it. 
Um, I did go out a little bit, so I'm just going to try that again. There we go. <laughs> but you also have the reflection, so make sure you do do the reflection. Because um, that might look quite silly if you don't have the reflection there as well. Um, now well, that we have that done, um, what you can do is you can paint in a tiny bit more to the left hand side. Just to make sure that you get the whole gradient going in there. Um, and that looks pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same on the left rim. So again, press your mask, control invert, and we're going to change it to lighten. So let's go up and start painting in the left hand side. That is so crisp. Um, down we go. And that, that I've got to tell you guys, that looks really, really beautiful. Um, Depending on how you light it, you might have to stay inside the bottle, like paint within the lines really carefully. Um, I made a couple of mistakes on here in that um, I didn't really have a way to control the light as much as I wanted because I was doing this all by myself um, and it was difficult to see exactly what was going on. Um, but okay. We managed to do it. Let's paint in the gradient as much as we can. And there we go. We have the right and left rim and it's looking spectacular. Now, if we grab the beer, same thing. And we're going to paint in the beer. Now, I'm going to drop the opacity because I know this is quite strong. Um, so I'm going to start just right here. And I'm just going to paint in the beer right here. And it's going to look absolutely stunning. And the same thing, I'm going to go down to lighten. Um, and it's going to lighten it all up and it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at that coming in right there. Stunning. Um, now, this is painting with light, so you can literally manipulate this bottle as much as you want because we have layers. So what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm completely manipulating what, what is going on inside the bottle by just painting in different layers. Um, and as much as I paint it, will be as bright as it gets, because at the moment I've dropped the opacity to 50%. So you can say every time I'm going across, it gets a little bit lighter. Now remember, the bottom of the bottle is very important, because that kind of gives it the whole glow. Without the glow, the bottom looks ridiculous. And make sure you also get the glow at the very bottom in the reflection, because without that, it's going to look kind of um, unnatural. So make sure you go across that a few times. And um, like I said, I did drop my opacity to about 50 when it comes to the, the actual beer in the bottle because it's a little bit strong. So now we're going to do the cap. Same thing. Click on the layer cap, activate it, layer mask, command I, go to lighten and let's go up to the cap. Now I'm 100% and 100% when it comes to opacity and flow. So I'm just going to paint this in. My brush is quite small here because I just want to concentrate on this cap. Um, as you can see, it's looking really, really lush. That looks clean. And make sure you get the reflection right here. So that looks really natural. Um, don't know about you guys, but I think it looks really dope already. Right, now for the last layer, which is actually the finishing touch, because it really gives it that really, really beautiful punch. We're going to turn on the label. Um, you can see this is the whole difference. It's um, it's huge. Um, so again, layer mask, command I, and um, go to lighten. Now this is where we are going to color in the label and just look at that come out. I mean, that is that just makes the whole difference. Remember to get the label in the reflection. And whilst we're at it, you can also color in the ice. Um, as we're set to lighten, um, it's just going to color in all the little pieces of ice there and make them look a lot whiter. Right there. I mean, that is absolutely stunning. So that's almost perfect. Two last things I want to do. Change the color of the background. So background, let's go into hue saturation. And I want to make it a little bit more purple, a little bit more blue. Um, give it a touch more saturation. And if we press Option Command G, that's going to contain it to link it to the layer below. Now, if we go up to the label um, and we do brightness and contrast, and on that we're going to do a um, layer mask and Command I. Now, we're going to change the brightness 
and the contrast quite a bit here. And on the layer mask, remember, we can just paint it in and it's going to give that label a little bit more kick. It's going to just going to pop that a little bit more. Make sure to get the reflection as well. So that looks nice down there. And once again, command option G is going to make it link to that label there. So you can see there is a really big difference. And um, that's about it. That image looks awesome how it is. I might tweak it a tiny little bit more in Lightroom, but boom, hope you guys like that. Any questions, any comments, um, any likes, make sure you subscribe and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one.